Hi everybody, it's Dawn and I am back with a video that is different from other videos I've done. This one is about the bag that I received from Elizabeth. Um, you all know her as Makeup Zombie and you can go to her channel and subscribe. I'm sure she'd appreciate it. Um, she's really a sweet girl. Her and her boyfriend Carlos, he's so sweet. And, uh, they have an auction every Sunday and um, I'm sure they'd appreciate it if you would join them. So yeah, I got this bag. Um, when you purchase something or some things from them, they put your name in a drawing at the end of the show and they pick out a winner who wins a bag of jewelry. Sometimes they'll pick out in you know another name who gets to win a necklace or this or that um, or whatever. And I happen to win the jewelry jar. They put it in a bag, you know. Um, so I'd like to show what I got. I already unbagged everything and now I am going to show you what I got. First of all, we're going to start off with a um, artisan piece, is what it appears to me. This is um, this piece right here um, feels like a resin piece. Um, this is not a stone, however, it looks like a stone. Um, yeah, very nice though. Here's the back to it. They wire wrapped it. And uh, the beads are really funky. They're clear. And then they have a tan, like, paint coloring inside. And I think they did that to um, make it appear shiny, as it does. So that's pretty cool. And it has a barrel clasp. So that's one. And then I thought this was neat. This big old hunk of hunk of purple right here. This medallion with the two smaller ones up top on a silver tone chain. Lobster claw clasp. But that purple. Look at that purple. And um, it's just plastic, but it's got like. Um, fake like marbling in there to make it look like stone. Very cool. Then we have a smaller piece. This is a snake chain, silver tone, with a lighthouse at the end of it. Look at that. Love it. Love the lighthouse. And lobster claw clasp. Then we have one of these link design chains. You know, this design was like back in the 60s or something, 50s, 60s, right around in there. I think it was even in the 70s. I don't know when exactly this design um, was invented, but I remember it back in the 70s at least. Um, even though I'm 21. Huh. Weird. Anyway, this is a Liz Claiborne piece. There's your maker's mark right there. Well, it's not going to show up too good. But there she is, Liz Claiborne. Pretty cool. And then we have a loft piece. Another link chain necklace. And it's got um, rhinestones right there around some of them. Then we have some bracelets. We have this gold tone bracelet. Looks like an antique gold type, like brass, really. 
no markings. And then we have this one, pretty heavy. This brown, I mean, it looks like Bakelite. Um, it's heavy plastic, either way. It's a type of plastic for sure. It's got the gold tone um, beads in the middle of these gold tone medallions there. Really cool. And then we have this, which this is a um, chain for your glasses. So he has those at the end. Faux pearl. There we go. We have this one, this piece is, it's like gold, or I mean um, black beads with uh, purple and green finish on top to give them like an iridescent look with those colors. Pretty wild. It does have an extender, so it could fit around my big head. And then we have these like uh, taupey bronzy colored beads almost. They're coming up rose gold on camera, but they're not really rose gold, I would say. But anyway, then they have um, like ribbon for the, the rest of the chain part. And that's how the ends are edged out up at the top. So that's unique. I thought this was really cool. Look at this bracelet, this shell bracelet with all those colors. Green and like a peach and a brown and a deep brown and an off-white. And then you can flip it and this is more subdued coloring with just the blush, like pink, and with the deep brown marbling in there. Awesome. The design, look at the way that the each piece of shell is designed, like cut. I love that. I haven't ever seen one like that. Love it. Then we have this big wooden necklace, just in time for summer has the pink at the bottom and then the natural tone up top. And it looks like they put a light uh, glaze over top of the wood. Um, but I think it feels like it would be really comfortable. It's got the barrel clasp. We also have a kind of a really different uh, piece here. This is um, an asymmetrical necklace. And the part that makes it asymmetrical right here um, is very different. Obviously, I mean, it, it kind of looks, just by looking at it, like a big old knot. Um, it's got a chain of rhinestones that wrap around it. It looks like, I mean, obviously on purpose, so I guess it's supposed to look that way. Really different. And then it comes down and uh, right there is the clasp. Um, so that's a really different piece. Let me get this ring off of there. Alright, there we go. Okay, so very different. I love asymmetrical though as far as a design. It's one of my favorite designs in a necklace. I will say that. We have a um, black and red beaded necklace. It looks pinkish on your screen but it's red. Comes in a drop like a Y shape. There is a extender to it too. 
We have another asymmetrical necklace, which I dig this one. Look at this. It starts here. It's like a 15 inch, I would say, just by looking how short it is. And then you see the dove right there, right on the side. And uh, yeah, you know I'm going to wear this. Asymmetrical and a bird and animal. Yep. Right up my alley. Going to wear it as soon as I find an extender and clean it up. Then, one of uh, the biggest pieces we have is this. Uh, this is a, I believe it was Coldwater Creek. Yeah. Necklace. Big old heavy drama piece right here. Now, I am so into drama chains. Always have been. I don't think that's ever changed. I haven't got these pieces unraveled, guys, but, you know, I'll have to take my time to do that. That'll take me a minute. But this is just cool. Coldwater Creek, known for their quality. Very nice. Heavy. I'm all about this. Love how that is with the multi-chain hanging like that. There's the extender. Yep, into that piece. Another piece that's um, different is this uh, brooch. I know you're probably um, supposed to pronounce the word brooch. Um, that's probably the proper way to pronounce it. I just cannot stand that word, like, pronounced that way. I don't know. It's just me. I've already... I've always said uh, brooch, so that's what I'm going to stick with. This is a brooch. It's got dangly bits right here, faux pearl. This is the back. Then we have a crescent moon and stars charm bracelet. Um, for me, this would be definitely an anklet. I would say this is about a size 9 or 10. Easy. Probably size 10. So this isn't going to work on my wrist, but it would work on my ankle. Another cool piece. I, I just, uh, this one is just, I don't know, I love it. It's not real or anything, but it is nice. This is a charm bracelet. Put it on my hand like this. Let's turn him around. There we go. There he is. All his glory. Look at him. Wow. And then uh, we have a rhinestone up here. Um, we have a feather right here. We have a plastic bead right here. We have um, the eagle right there. We have a peace sign right there. We have an arrowhead right here. And then this is just a faux. It's, it's um, acrylic, I would say. Acrylic bead. But that is cool. With a little bit of chain. You know, I like the dangly bits. Yeah, there we go. Love it. And then, my favorite piece as far as uh, what was in the bag that she gave, which to some people might look weird and out there, but that's right up my alley, is this adjustable ring with the face. Look at her. Look at those cheeks. Don't you just want to pinch them? Yeah, gold tone. Isn't that awesome? Look at that. Now, of course, this isn't real or anything. It's adjustable right there. No markings. But somebody like me would wear this. And what's neat about this is it's facing the side. I, you know, I'd rather have it vertical, but it's horizontal which is even weirder, but somebody like me that's going to wear it, you know, that's fine. So that's how it would sit. 
Yeah. I'm digging her. Whoops. There we go. She's cool. I like her. And then um, there were some earrings. Um, no matches, but I'll show them to you. We have these two. And we have a shell with a faux pearl. And then we have a crystal bead, a couple beads. And then we have this one. And then we have a stud, gold tone. And then the item that I bought from her were these earrings, these sterling earrings, um, kind of gothic looking. I don't know if I can show both of them. Let me show one at a time here, I guess. I'll just show this one. But that's what they are. Um, it appears to be a garnet that's in the center of that. Yeah, I'm digging it. Really tiny. I love it. There's the back. That's what I bought from her. So there you go. These two. And that is it. That's going to wrap up the unbagging. Um, I just want to say thank you to everybody who purchased from me before. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, I'm starting to get into this slow but sure guys uh, hopefully this weekend Friday or, or Saturday or maybe both um, I don't know I'm going to be trying to pull an auction on my channel I don't know what time so um, I'll try to give a reminder on here I'm still trying to figure everything out um, I tried to do this absolutely live with you guys to see everything as I unbagged it, but um, I still can't figure out how to get me out of that small little webcam box. So we'll work on it, and um, once again, thank you. Thank you all uh, for your support and your kindness, and um, gifts that I have gotten from people. I just, uh, I don't even know what to say, you know. Um, and I was uh, seriously crying today, not long ago, um, because of the gift that someone bought for me. Um, I just really appreciate it. You guys really um, have been valuable to me. So I just wanted you to know that. And um, I will come back with more videos, I promise. Um, Thank you for showing up at Autumn's auction, by the way. She appreciates it, and it's nice that I can finally um, go on live with her. <laughs> We've been trying so, so long, you don't even know. Um, between my computer problems and her trying to solve hers, we just uh, couldn't get it together. One of those things, you know. But that's life. You live and learn, and you just move on. How do you like my shirt? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have more of those. You know, I'm just a smart butt, so, you know, I wear stupid stuff like this, but that's just me. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy your day, enjoy the sunshine, and I will see you in another live, okay? Talk to you later. Bye.